what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're jumping right into this video if you are new here my name's candace and i post videos on motherhood home decor and i also do some vlogging if that sounds like your jam go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload today we are checking out target to see what 2023 has to offer us now, honestly, the purpose of this video is to check out the home decor items, but we cannot pass up this $5 bullseye section. There are so many cute things in this section, and I really just had to share them with you guys. Since becoming a homeowner, I am so obsessed with organizational items, and I thought these baskets were so cute. I am, like, living for these. As soon as I saw these, I instantly thought of the laundry room. I think these will be really great to put like any of your liquid detergents in or even bleach. They're glass jars, so they're super durable. Oh, these are awesome. And then sticking with the laundry stuff, how cute are these? I think this will be perfect for like scent beads, maybe dryer balls or clothes pins, some type of like laundry accessory, maybe not your laundry detergent. If you're like me, then you buy the big box. <laughs> so that won't fit, but these are so cute. And I also thought this was really cute. You can use it as like a cleaning caddy around the house so you don't have to lug around so many different bottles. I was really surprised to see how heavy these bookends were. I've seen them on other channels, but I did not expect for them to be this heavy. I was pleasantly surprised. noticing is trending in 2023 are affordable planters. I feel like once upon a time it was really difficult to find affordable cute planters. I think these are really cute and simple but they really do make for the perfect DIY project. Just... 
entered the hearth and hand magnolia collection i'm noticing a lot of decorative boxes i love this idea anytime functionality and stylish can meet somewhere in the middle i'm sold and they have these really cute like little boxes here which i love to stack one a bigger one on top of the smaller one i said that reverse a smaller one on top of the bigger one and you can have it on your coffee table console table you can hide remotes and all kinds of things in there and i thought this basket was really cute for like throw blankets to keep in the living room I thought this glass tray for the bathroom was actually really cute. It has a nice weight to it and I like the detail that it had. They also have a soap dish that goes with the tray and a soap dispenser to go with the collection as well. And these cute little jars that you can put like uh, hair ties, cotton balls, q-tips, even bath salts in. Of course, once I saw this bathtub tray, I got instant spa vibes. I love the wood finish that they chose. I think it's very simple yet modern, but I love the, that it still has that earthy feel to it. Now remember how I was saying planters are really in right now? So are like decorative watering cans and misters. When I first started wanting to develop my green thumb, I could not find like cute watering cans. Like I just saw like the ugly big bulky ones that you would use in your garden. But I'm like, I want something that's actually going to look cute like sitting in my house. And they definitely have some really, really cute ones here with this hearth and hand collection. And of course they don't disappoint with the faux florals. Uh, I always think they do a really good job with this, whether it's the ones that are already in vessels or whether it's the picks, they always have a pretty nice selection in my opinion. I thought this was really cute. Man, I don't even think I need to say anything about these. I mean, look at them. They're so cute. I love that they come in three different sizes depending on, you know, the scale of your room or where you're going to be placing them. Love. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me something to my Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this decorative bowl. It had a really nice weight to it, and I loved the texture. You can't really tell from the video, but it has a really nice texture on it. I thought these plant stands were really, really cute. I love the variety in the wood tones. And if you're not into wood or that doesn't fit your home decor, then they do have this really cute gold one as well. Now we're getting into the Studio McGee collection. Now this season, they are going with more of a coastal vibe. There are a lot of shades of blue in here. Honestly, the coastal thing is not really my vibe, but there were some really cute pieces. I thought this little mini marble bowl was a great option for like your entryway, a place where you can just kind of drop your keys and go.
I love these jars and I love that they had such a variety of the size and height of them. This tray is really cute for like a candle and then they have these candle stick holders that come in two different sizes so you can kind of stagger them. Of course, you know I love this decorative bowl. It's white, it has a little bit of speckle to it. Now, honestly, it's not as textured as the hearth and hand bowl, but it's still really, really nice, and it does have a really good weight to it as well. Now, this little section over here, I was really feeling. I am loving the gold finish that they chose. You know, sometimes things are a little too gold, a little too shiny, have a little too much of that like yellow color in it. I think the color that they chose is really, really nice. I love this little shallow bowl. This thing here can be used as a planter. It's so many different options and things that you can use. They have a larger size one here that has um, legs to go with it. I mean, just really, really cute. I really like the vibe of this chair. I love the color that they chose for the upholstery. I love that it has black, a black frame with the wooden arms. I thought that was really, really cute. And then a bonus, whenever you're gonna go with this light cream colored upholstery, these cushions are removable guys and they unzip. So it makes it really easy for cleaning. You could just toss them in the wash and then put them back on. Now the only thing that was a con for me for this when I sat down in it, it was a little bit more on the firm side than I like, but that's not a huge deal because it is just an accent chair and that part totally just depends on your comfort level. Now this chair definitely gives you more of a deep seat, more of a loungy type of feel. I don't care for the fact that you can't remove the fabric and wash it. Um, anytime you have a light color fabric, I think it being detachable is really convenient, but I also have toddlers, so if that's not your struggle, <laughs> don't worry about it. This stool is great to put in your closet for under console tables, extra seating in the living room. I absolutely love it. And here we go again with the coastal vibes. This bench was like, it was gray with a little bit of a bluish tone to it. Not necessarily my style, but I do like benches that have function to them with the extra storage on, um, in it. I wasn't too thrilled with these. It was giving me like faux marble vibes or cement vibes. I couldn't really tell. I was a little confused and it had a lot of, it had some good weight to it, but you can tell it's like shallow or hollow on the inside. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that one. I thought this console table was really cute. When you open it up, there is one shelf inside. And then this lamp I thought was really cool. Not really my style, but again, leaning more towards like those coastal vibes this season. So I saw this chair and I like the fact that they actually added wheels to it. Especially having little ones, I like the ability of being able to move furniture around. And it was really, really comfy. And next to the chair, I saw this little side table. This I love. I would definitely purchase something like this for my home. I think it's really cute to put like in between two chairs like they have here, a nice little conversation area. Here's another cute little decor piece that you can put on like a console table or a coffee table and it was only $15. He's a vagabond, he won't love you better I can watch you sinking down on the bottom ship So come to send in again, Mississippi You've been crying over him I love this little um, bench here. It was definitely giving me like boho vibes. 
Um, I'm not sure if this was actually a part of the McGee collection. I think this is just Threshold. And this one I love. I love that the little arm pieces are detachable. You can unzip them and wash them. Of course, you know I like that. That's super convenient. But I would definitely purchase something like that for my home. Super, super cute. And here are just some of the other stools and benches and little... Um, things that they had in the home section. I believe most of these were threshold, um, but yeah. So that concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end, I really do appreciate you and I'll see you guys in the next video.